Tom. Ah, ini
here with the people that have gathered here, your families, churches, well-wishers and friends. It is our prayer that their life will continue to be a blessing to families from both sides, churches from both sides, well-wishers, friends, and everyone to come across. And today, Father, I also pray for the banquet, the wedding feast that the bride and bridegroom family has prepared for all of us to celebrate with them. You bless everyone who has worked tirelessly behind the scene. Bless them, Lord. Bless the food that has been prepared. Sanctify it. Let it be like the very flesh and blood of Jesus. Let it bring healing into every sick and weak body. And even as they cut the cake, Lord, as they hold hands, unite their heart and cut the cake, it is our prayer that this will just be the beginning of a beautiful journey where they will continue to hold one another in faith, in prayer, encourage and strengthen one another in the future ahead of them. Thank you, Daddy. We thanksgiving in Jesus when we pray and all the children of God say, Amen. So now I call Mr. and Mrs. Z. Daniel to kindly stand up and you can hold it right together. You can cut the cake and then feed one another. You can stop. First the groom can feed the bride and then after that the bride can feed the groom. And as they do that, after they feed one another, shall we all give a big hand of applause after they do it? for the feast, the table arrangement are as follows. There are three tables, one bed, which is at the left, and there are two, uh, two non-bed tables at the right and on the back side. So you can enjoy the feast to your heart's content. We're set to get ready for that. Because I'm the second, second ladies. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 